Hi, I have a 45k Beacon Morris garage heater that is not working correctly. The draft blower runs constantly and every 20 seconds it fires the burners and the burn lasts for about 2 seconds and in about 20 seconds the burners refire and the burn lasts for 2 seconds and this cycle repeats itself as long as the thermostat calls for heat. I suspect the flame sensor is the issue. I have removed the wire from the flame sensor and the heater acts the same. I have used a voltmeter to read the voltage coming from the flame sensor and I get about 0.2 volts before the flame goes out. The LED remains at a flashing mode. I have taken the flame sensor out to clean the tip. This did not help. My question is, what is causing the RAID refiring and 2 seconds burn time? Hello. My name is I'll do my best to help. Let's get started and see what we can do. What is the patter to the flashing on the LED? 2 flash pause, 3 flash pause, etc. Slash. The LED has a steady rate flashing before the spark starts. According to my trouble guide that means a normal call for heat. When the igniter starts sparking and the burners light, the LED continues with the steady rate flashing. The burners are only on so briefly that I can't tell any difference. It sounds like board itself may be the culprit. As soon as unit fails, that rapid flash should change to an error code such as 3 flashes for an open pressure switch or 4 flashes if a limit opened. What voltage should be coming from the flame sensor after the flames touch it? I'm getting about 0.2 volts before the flame stops. I've watched the firing of the unit without the flame sensor connected, there is no difference. The burn time is so short it hard to tell if the LED has changed from the steady rate flash to different when it's in the short burn cycle. The flame sensor produces DC microamps. You can test it by putting a meter in series between sensor and board and setting meter to DC microamps. Here is a good video on doing this. HTTPS colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch V equals A5U044 OGBC4 Microamps can vary from one sensor to another, but all will need to be at least 1.5 DC microamps. Thanks, I checked the board. There is voltage going to the gas valve to open it for the burners to fire. The flame sensor keeps this voltage going to the gas valve to keep it open. Something is stopping the voltage so the gas valve shuts off. This why I suspect the flame sensor. Occasional a limit opening will cause the cycling and board not recognize it, but is supposed to give a code. I would do the following. 1. Bypass limit just briefly for a test to see if heater will stay on too. Bypass pressure switch, after inducer starts to see if heater will stay on 3. Do the above test to check microamps from flame sensor. If bypassing limit and pressure switch do not help. And if flame sensor is producing at least 1.5 microamps DC, I would replace the board. Basically if limit is closed, pressure switch is staying closed and board is receiving signal from flame sensor, but board is not keeping flame on, board is defective. I am always hesitant about telling people to replace a board unless we have done tests to prove it is getting all the info it needs, but not responding. One other thing to do is check all wires and connections. Push all wires into connectors good so we know they are making contact. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.